Yo. Yo, once again, it's your boy Black Seal. Complexities. Until It Tears series. That's part of the Until It Tears trilogy. Now, the whole trilogy was about, you know, basically, to update you, the whole trilogy is about me going through a situation where a girl gets pregnant and basically I had to deal with a girl getting pregnant. The first series, Psycho Driven, I basically go mad. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, like pissed off. I'm, I'm like doing anything. I'm, I'm very um, irrational, suicidal, irrational, suicidal. And, and Psycho Driven, the girl, at the end of the series, the girl gets an abortion. And that's real life. That's what really happened. End of this the girl gets an abortion. So that really happened. So Psycho Driven is factual. Now, Until a Terror series is about what if the girl didn't get an abortion? What if the girl said, fuck you, I'm still gonna have this baby. So I say, okay. I call her bluff. Because see, I think that I think that the baby is going to be the fiance. So I call her bluff. Look, the baby's your fiance. No, Melly, the baby's yours. The baby's yours. The baby's yours. So she says, okay, baby's mine. She has the baby. When she has the baby, then I, then I, then I, uh, when, when she has the baby, then they take a DNA test. DNA results come back that the kid is not the fiance's. The fiance goes ape shit and beats the shit out of her and she basically dies. When she dies, he goes to jail. And now I get sole custody of the baby. This is my blood. This baby is mine. This is really my baby. The baby's name is Jeremiah. Jer Jeremiah, once again, every time I look at this baby, it reminds me of her, the bitch that betrayed me. So in this whole series, I do not like Jeremiah. I hate this baby. I refuse to call this boy Jeremiah. I refuse to call him Jeremiah. I just call him boy. I don't even call him by his name. I just call him boy. I don't even call his name. I hate this boy. Every time I look at this boy, that's what he is. He's that. He's 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 he's, he's the bitch that betrayed me. Every time I look at the fucking boy, the bitch that betrayed me. I don't like him. So each poem. Have you ever been in that situation? When I was writing this series, I had to put myself in this situation. To put myself in a situation, I have to be hateful. I have to be black. Black in my heart. <laughs> black seal. I had to unlock the seal. Show that side of me. Show the side of me that is hateful. Show the side of me that has no love. Show the side of me that would beat the living shit out of my enemy. Torture him. Fuck him up. Whatever it is. I had to be that... I had to be that fucking person. There are people that could read these pieces that could relate to it because they've been, they felt the same fucking way. God, boy, you wasn't my kid. I'd beat the living shit out of you. People that have felt that way. But in this series, I do a lot of neglectful things. I say a lot of bad things to the kid. I treat this kid like shit. And it's very sad. You know? It's very sad how I treat this kid. I sit there and I try to put him in a tub and then put the AC on him so he'll, he'll get a cold and get sick. Or I sit there and I try to leave him at the park. Or every time he wants to do something, I say, no, no, no. And at this point, my baby mom has found out. 
Two boys in Miami. Takes my daughter away from me. My family. Distances themselves from me because I'm not the same fucking person. My mom is telling me, cool out, cool out. Stop being like that towards a boy. I'm like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck you, fuck everybody else. You don't know what the fuck I'm going through. This, I can't get rid of this. This little kid here, he, 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 this, this motherfucker won't go away. He's mine. He's here. There's nothing I can fucking do. It's, there's nothing I want to do. So, doing this poll, doing this series, I meet somebody. Somebody special. That changes me. Has an eye for the kid. Has an eye for the boy. They love kids. I once used to love kids before I had him. I sit there and I click with the girl, connect, and then me and the person start dating. I've already alienated my mom, alien I've alienated my family, alienated my friends, the boy, he 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 doesn't even talk to his cousins, he didn't talk he didn't, he didn't have very many friends. I've been a sh shitty person. This person comes along. And then it seems to take the pain away from me. You have somebody that can do that. For the first time, I see that little boy as my son. I see that little boy as part of me. Someone that needs love, just like me. Gee, in this series, once again, this is conceptual. Conceptual poetry. In this series, that little boy represents innocence. He represents the innocence that I lost along the way. The innocence that I used to have when I was a little boy. When I used to be happy. And in this series, he's as pure as ever. Just like my innocence was when I was when I wasn't corrupted, when all I had to do was just be a kid and have fun. No matter what I did to the boy, what I said, he still had it in his heart to love. And towards the end of that series, that's what I finally do. I realize that that boy is a part of me that I lost along the way. And I reconnect with it. Finally, reconnect with the part of me that I lost. My innocence. Which the world took away from me. At the end of the poem. I find my. After making. Sweet love to my new woman. I go down, and she leaves. And when I finally wait, I wait till my son, being choked up in an apron, from trying to get some cookies off the cabinet. When I see this, it sets up the next poem. The uh, next poetry series. The schizo prison. 
when I see this, I lose it. Because I have just found my innocence, my lost innocence. I just reconnected with my lost innocence. And I'm finally starting to be a father to this boy. And as soon as I wake up, this boy is hanging, lifeless on an apron. Now when I release him, I'm holding him, the boy's dead. After that, I go ballistic. I start questioning God. When does it end? When are enough tests enough? When every second I feel like I'm being tested? When is enough enough? How much longer do I have to endure your test before I'm actually goddamn proven to be somebody? 35 fucking years? Or however old in that poem. That's not enough to prove my loyalty. That's not a lot enough to prove to my father that I'm worthy, that I love him. That I have to spend this long chasing the motherfucker? For what? Why am I in this situation? Why am I always being, why is everything always being taken away from me? Because this series, this whole ordeal I went to, through, and the things I had to go through, brought me closer to a lot of people. And at no point in time was it something I enjoyed going through. Want something I want to do. Wish it never happened. So, respect my emotions. Respect me as a poet. Understand I have flaws. But still, I'm not perfect. And now I'm in redemption. Ready to refer slash tale of 2016 production. It's still sealed, bitch. Fucking out of here.